John Manick, and we're standing in front of Alley Pond Environmental Center, located at 22806 Northern Boulevard in Douglaston. We're going to be going inside to learn a lot about the Alley Pond Environmental Center. Uh, you can see it's open to the public. It has trails, programs, and animals. Uh, and um, what's interesting about the Alley Pond Environmental Center it is a great place for people who are concerned about the environment, who would like to have their children learn more about how to protect the earth. Uh, and we're gonna be uh, going inside. Again, this is a one, one in a series of videos uh, on with the theme of you must live in Northeast Queens. Northeast Queens consists of the communities of Bayside, Little Neck, and Douglaston, located in School District 26 considered year after year to be the best school district in all of New York City. Let's go inside. Uh, we're now talking with Irene Schein, who is the executive director here at the Alley Pond Environmental Center. Irene, maybe you could tell us a little bit about the history and the background of the Alley Pond Environmental Center. The center was actually started in 1972 in the woodlands of Alley Pond Park by some teachers who wanted to preserve the park as a teaching tool for the students in their classes. In 1976, we were offered the opportunity to take on this property, which was originally a patio furniture shop, and we renovated it into an education center for environmental education for children and adults in the community. And we've been growing ever six, so, since, so this is our 35th anniversary on this site. Um, and this year, we will see 60 thousand children and adults in our programs on-site and off-site. All right, so I know um, the uh, Alley Ron Environment Center has been really based on various types of p protecting the environment and the earth. Maybe you can, I know I remember reading recently you had a, a whole thing on planting trees. Maybe you can give us a little bit more information on that. We do do an annual program, our Arbor Day program, which is usually the last Saturday in April where we do try to plant some more native trees here in Alley Pond Park, and we involve local scout groups and families in that project. Every September we run a National Estuaries Day. It's a free community event, um, sort of like a festival with lots of community groups having tables and lots of free activities, usually including kayaking and boat rides out on Little Neck Bay. Um, as well as activities here on site on that day. And then we run um, sporadic events that also go around the environment. This coming June we'll have a World Environment Day, a small community event here at the center. Um, we've done a biodiversity conference. Um, we've done some globe training, learning to take sampling in the area of water and soil and putting that information up on the internet. We do a variety of programs like that, both for children as well as for adults. Uh, outstanding. I mean, you know, uh, Northeast Queens, the uh, communities of Bayside, Little Neck, and Douglaston, uh, it's just a great place to live in suburbia, and I believe Alley Pond Environmental Center is just another jewel in this part of um, suburbia to, uh, to attract people to enjoy the, the suburban area, still be nearby New York City, but also really uh, be able to raise their children uh, and really enjoy the environment. Um, I know you also have um, uh, various classrooms. I saw a whole bunch of buses outside. Maybe you can give us a little idea in some of the classes that you run. I know you had something a couple of months ago in watercolor, I believe, in painting. Yes, we start children here in our programs at 18 months old. Those are mommy and me programs that are offered once a week. And they graduate up into uh, going to wee sprouts and toddler time and fledglings and sunny bunnies where in the fledglings and sunny bunnies they actually come without their parents those are for like three and four year olds we have after school programs for individual children weekend programs for children on anything from owl pellet dissection um, to learning about some of the specific animals a snake program or a rabbit program during weekdays, we have many schools that use us as a field trip site, coming and getting a two-hour program for their classes. Um, and that starts from as young as pre-K classes on up through college students that will come and have programs here at the center. Um, and they generally get a, a lecture on a topic that the teacher has selected. They do a, some hands-on time with our live animals. They go on a trail walk out here in the wetlands of Valley Pond Park. And then they make a hands-on project that they take back with them to remember their day here at the center. Uh, terrific. How, how big a staff do you have? 
I have a full-time staff of eight. I have per diems, about 20 per diem staff. I have about six part-time staff members. And then we have a core of volunteers, both teens starting at 14 on up and through adults that work at the center to keep it open. We're open seven days a week, 12 months of the year. Outstanding. Maybe we could go look at the animals a little bit and, and also uh, end this video with maybe a little bit about the outdoor trail. Sure. They put it on hold. It has various live animals. We're actually looking at a sleeping ferret. And uh, Irene's going to continue with us again. This is our most uh, visited room here at the center. I will have to compete with the animal noises here in, this, in the room. Um, we have a variety of animals. Most of them are not native to the park, but we use them as teaching tools. For instance, we'll use our rabbits and talk about the cottontail rabbit that's actually found natural, native here in the park, and explain the differences and why we use these rabbits um, instead of the natural cottontail rabbits here in the park. But some of our animals here are native. You'll find the eastern box turtles that are over here as uh, are found in the woodlands of the park, and we do use them as uh, a tool. We have licenses in order to be able to keep them and use them as a teaching uh, program here at the center. Um, we have everything, as you can see, birds, reptiles, mammals, and uh, fish uh, that we use in our, all our different programs depending on which topic a teacher selects. If they select reptiles, we will take out a snake and a turtle as part of their program, versus if they select mammals, we might use a guinea pig and a rabbit for the program. All right, now you said something about a class coming up in June. Um, the end of June, the uh, last Saturday in the month of June, we will be having a live reptile show uh, where he'll bring in different reptiles that we have, including an alligator that you'll be able to come and uh, participate in that program. Um, we do charge for many of our programs. It helps us to support the work that we do here at the center. Fees vary depending um, for like a astronomy program that's held on Saturday nights once a month. The fees are like $12 a person. Uh, the reptile show, I think the fee is about $15 a person. And, and something you mentioned, I think last year you had a bird of prey with a hawk and a, an owl. Yes, we do often run the bird of prey program once or twice a year. We bring in different groups, vultures for wildlife being one of them, and they do bring in their, their resident uh, hawks and owls. These are animals that have been brought to them and are injured in some fashion and can't be re-released re back into the park so that they use them in their educational programs and it's a fascinating program to be that close to those kind of animals. All right, let's, let's go outside and conclude this great visit with the uh, Alibon, uh, Ali Pond Environmental Center. Okay. We're now outside Ali Pond Environmental Center and Ari, maybe give us a little idea what, what we're going to be doing here. Well, we have a couple of local little trails here through the wetlands of Ali Pond Park as well as there's one long trail that loops all the way around the entire wetlands back to the LIE and comes back on the other side of Alley Creek. Um, trail walks here, you can see a lot of different fauna. Uh, and if you're really lucky and are quiet, you might be able to see some of our native wildlife, the herons, the muskrats, that live here in the park itself too. By one of the trails uh, for the Alley Pond Environmental Center, we have a, a a windmill and Irene's going to tell us a little bit about that. This is the Douglaston Estate windmill. It's actually a wind pump. It pumps water. It was a building very similar. It was found here in the Douglaston Manor area. It was used by the farmers to pump water for their farmlands. The original was moved on to this site. We dug the well, built the foundation, and unfortunately the original was destroyed by arson. So this is a replica that was built to simulate what would have been found in this area. As I was mentioning to people before, the waiting list for school children to come to the center is so extensive, over 10,000 school children we will not be able to see this year, that we've now actually turned this windmill into a classroom. So in the better months, April, May, and October, and even to early November, we'll do a class in here every day, as well as just off here to the side on the property. We have an African safari tent that we call our outdoor classroom, and we do a class in there also on the nicer months. The trails here at the center, anyone can come and walk. There are very local trails, very short trails, take about 20 minutes to walk. Uh, through the local areas, as well as we have one long trail that goes around the whole marsh, all the way back from Northern Boulevard to the Long Island Expressway, crosses over the other side of Alley Creek and comes back to Northern Boulevard. And that trail will take you about an hour, hour and a half to walk the entire trail here at the center. Uh, Irene, what a remarkable place you have here, you know, and, and it's kind of, again, it's like a hidden jewel 
in the middle of the urban part of New York City. I really want to thank you for your time. Again, this is the Alley Pond Environmental Center located on Northern Boulevard in Douglaston. Uh, and you really need to come by and bring your children and have a great time here. Thank you. If you want to learn more about the Alley, Alley Pond Environmental Center, give them a call at 718-229-4000 and you can be connected to various uh, things going on. If you want to volunteer, they're looking for volunteers. It's a great program for children, adults. Again, I'm John Manick with Charles Rutenberg Real Estate. 917-750-7842. 917-750-7842. This is just another video in a whole series entitled, You've Got to Live in Northeast Queens. Great communities of Bayside, Little Neck, and Douglaston. Thank you for watching this video.